week I told you about how a sea sponge could lead to stronger buildings. Well today, we have a beetle and an exocuticle, or an exoskeleton, that could lead to much stronger and lighter materials. A team from Northwestern's engineering department wants to know how insects, like the beetle, can have armor-like exoskeletons that should weigh it down, but are actually light enough that it can fly. Now, there are more than a million species of beetles, but the team decided to study the fig eater beetle, a field crop pest native to the western United States. Like all insects and crustaceans, its exoskeleton is composed of twisted plywood structures that help protect against predators. Fibers in the structure are bundles of chitin polymer chains wrapped with proteins. According to the researchers, it's hard to characterize the fibers' properties because they are so incredibly small. They have a diameter of just 20 nanometers. The team was finally able to analyze the mechanics of the fibers by cutting them along a plane, which revealed a face composed of closely packed cross-sections of fibers with different orientations. By correlating the mechanical properties with the exoskeleton geometries from other beetles, the team will gain insight into natural selection and better understand the structure, function, and property relationships. This work could ultimately uncover information that could guide the design and manufacturing of new and improved artificial materials by emulating these time-tested natural patterns. Oh, Pappy making bombs? Richard Stump has been to five Super Bowls, but yet he has never seen a single pass. Stump works in a special line of security. He's a senior scientist at Sandia National Laboratory's Radiological Assistance Program, or RAP. He's a part of their RAP team. At events, Sandia's RAP team uses a couple of different methods. Typically a handheld radiation detector to scan the crowd, or they circle the area with super sensitive vehicle mounted radiation detectors. They don't just do planned events either. The RAP team are often called in as a first responder for any incident in the Southwest that involves radiological materials. Whether it's, you know, something that you found in your grandfather's basement with radioactive markings, industrial accidents, or even an accident involving vehicles transporting radioactive material. They protect political conventions. I mean, they were at the Republican and Democratic National Conventions, uh, and let's just hope they missed as much of the Super Bowls as they did there. They do presidential inaugurations and many other major sporting events. I mean, but it kind of makes you think though, what the heck was your grandpa doing in that basement? Jesus, Pappy. Oh, Pappy bomb maker. Oh, Pappy making bombs? Two years ago, Divergent 3D gave us a first look at its 3D printed supercar, the Blade. This year, it was back on the scene and turning heads in Vegas at CES 2017. Divergence is pushing future car technology forward, but not in a way like those silly EVs and autonomous cars. The proof of concept car is meant to prove the viability of 3D printing technology being used to manufacture cars. Now, we've all seen 3D printed cars before, and, well, few of them match the cool factor. I mean, the Strati was all cool and all, but like not in like a, like a dune buggy way. Like, and divergence more of a like shaken not stirred way. So like. Blade was made using quad laser direct metal laser sintering. The technology allows its engineers to customize and optimize the car's components, which makes for a stronger chassis that only weighs 1400 pounds or about a third of a Tesla Model S. The chassis is actually a combination of 3D printed parts and carbon fiber tubing that gives it its industrial strength. And it seems like the automotive industry has taken notice. According to 3dprint.com, Peugeot recently entered a strategic partnership with Divergent. The partnership will not only help the French automobile manufacturer optimize its manufacturing processes and, you know, build lighter and safer cars, but it will help make Divergent's technology more mainstream. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design. So a team from the Northwestern Engineering Department of Insects, that hot French car maker, Peugeot!